Hello everyone. There's a section in the Yamaha VMAX owner's manual that talks about cleaning your brake discs. It starts off with saying something like, if necessary, clean your brake discs and brake pads or something to that effect. Uh, I will put a copy of that right up here so you can see that. Uh, but anyway, so what is necessary? Well, that's probably something, that's a judgment call based on each individual owner. For me, it's necessary pretty much every time I clean my motorcycle, I clean my disc brakes as well. So a lot of you are probably thinking, well, I've never cleaned my disc brakes and I don't clean my disc brakes on the car, so why should I bother? Well, for me, it's just a matter of personal preference and I wanna make sure that the brakes on the motorcycle uh, are working to the maximum uh, capacity every time I go to use them. So unlike a car, I do not have a steel or aluminum cage protecting me if I do not stop in time. Motorcycle, I only have two tires touching the ground and I want as much stopping power as I can possibly get. So, and I feel like I get that uh, opportunity when the brakes are clean or the rotors are clean. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I clean the brakes. Uh, others may have other methods of doing it, but I'm going to show you how I do it and why I do it. First, uh, what I am going to use is I use this brake clean right here. Uh, I'll put a description or I'll put a link to this in the description below so you can check it out and see exactly what it is. Um, but one of the things I want to stress in this video is regardless of what type of cleaner you are using on the brakes, uh, you need to be aware of two things. One is does it leave any type of film or residue on the rotor itself? Because if it does, the first time you go to use your brakes, you will know uh, something's not right because they're, they're, there's not enough friction. So it's on that film, particularly if it's like an oily film or something of that nature, you are not going to stop. So that's one reason why I like actual brake cleaner because even if you let it air dry, it doesn't leave a residue behind and you're not in for a shock the first time you go to use your brakes after cleaning them. So keep that in mind. But the main point I'm trying to stress in this particular video is how to use this particular uh, solvent cleaning solution is because it may tell you or you may have seen others simply take the spray and spray it on the rotors and then wipe it off. Well, that's not how I do it because I do not want this stuff going everywhere on the motorcycle, uh, particularly the rims, because depending on what you are using, and it even warns on this particular product, uh, that it can eat through finishes and rubber or any other types of uh, material. So be aware of that. So the way that I do it uh, is pretty much mess free. I just spray the rag and then wipe it on the brake like this. and spin it around a little bit of dirt on there you can see that then I take another rag and then I dry it off and it seems to be pretty clean so that's all there is to it. Like I said, this wasn't a video so much on whether or not you should or you shouldn't. Uh, maybe I've helped you decide whether or not you should or shouldn't or something that you may want to do. Uh, but like I said, I can't stress enough that if you are going to use some sort of solvent, particularly a brake cleaner, where it warns in the very small print, by the way, uh, do not get this on any of the other uh, components of your motorcycle. Uh, because it may eat through the finishes. So definitely be aware of that. So uh, one of the things I probably should have started the video off with is, as you see, to make things easy, I have these on the, uh, the pit bull stands. I've got the front stand and the rear stand all ready to go. Uh, I'll put a link in the description uh, to those as well to show you how I've actually uh, put the bike up on that. I have other videos to show you that. And you may also notice that I'm using this little rolling chair I will put a link in the description to this as well for those of you that haven't seen that before. Uh, but that's all there is to this video. Hopefully it helps you decide one way or another if you're going to clean your rotors. And if you do, to be careful and uh, not get this stuff everywhere so you don't damage anything on your motorcycle. All right, hope this helps. 
See you next time.